last time we ended up putting this uh, this section of field fence in and it was our first section of field fence that we've ever put up so it was kind of a learning curve so it was a little bit slow but one thing I forgot to do was is I really intended to put barbed wire along the bottom um, that way the the very bottom strand was barbed wire it helped prevent animals from trying to scoot under the fence I knew that on the top of the fence that I either wanted to put electric or barbed wire and I haven't decided yet and I can decide that later but I definitely want to put a barbed wire along the bottom so I've got two more fence pulls to do to make the barnyard so before we do those two fence pulls I want to go ahead and I want to stretch some barbed wire fence along the ground here in between each one of these poles and and get that on the fence and then we'll come back we'll come back to this side over here and see if we can get some barbed wire along the bottom on that side but I guarantee now that that fence is up this is going to be way harder so one other thing you guys had mentioned was my t-post spacing I was going off of uh, some kind of a fencing manual and it suggested every 25 feet for high tensile field fence uh, you guys told me if I'm messing with goats you know they're gonna like to rub against the fence you really need to do a 10 foot spacing so that's what we're gonna try to do today if I can get the barbed wire in along the ground that'll make a nice nice straight line along the fence line we'll go ahead and drive our T posts in uh, we'll try to drive those every uh, 10 feet the ground is frozen so it may be hard but we'll see if we can get the T posts in um, as well today You want to try? Yeah. You want some of my sweaty gloves? I guess. There you go. You guess they're sweaty. 
<laughs> Ready? Yeah, I think you moved it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, where you out, huh? It's almost four foot six and a half. I think that's good. Good job. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Oh man, this bottom barbed wire is going to be a uh, bear. Well, we got all the barbed wire on the three sections of fence that we wanted to. We got it, the last one we did was this fence that we already had uh, put up, and that fencing um, did make it a lot harder to put that barbed wire on. So we had to do that one just a little bit different. We put the tension uh, past the end post and tensioned it up, and then once we got it good and tensioned, we just we just ended up driving two staples in that end post, and we just pounded them down to hold that fence in place so it wouldn't slip and then we ended up cutting it and uh, tying it back to itself there's no way i was going to be able to so what we were using to tension the fence is we're just using these the same boards that we used to uh, stretch the field fencing i don't have a barbed wire uh, fencing puller uh, i need to pick one up so but that's what i have and there's no way i was going to fit that under this fence so uh, we had to put the tension past the fence staple it down and then tie it back to itself and um, just with that other fence being on there did make it a lot more difficult but we did get it on um, we did drive two more t-posts on this side over here um, and uh, we did get all our t-posts in all around the other way so we didn't end up buying any more t-posts uh, for the job right now um, we have a lot of t-posts that we pulled on this property so when we bought this property there was there was barbed wire fence just everywhere and this was all kind of horse pasture and we had pulled all those posts and 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 you know pulled all that barbed wire and gathered it up and kind of cleaned everything up so we kept all those t-posts so we tried to pick out a bunch of straight ones that we had lying around i bet you i've got like a hundred t-posts and uh, so we just kind of went through the pile picked out some straight ones and then we ended up pounding those in the ground so the ground is frozen today and that makes it a little bit tougher that made it really tough actually uh, it would just not want to get started in the ground and you about had to get a good six inches or so in the ground before it finally want to start going and uh, it just was not easy to get the uh, get the fence posts in the ground here but uh, we ended up getting it done and uh, the sun is already out today you know and it's it's already starting to warm up this weekend so I'm pretty sure you know by the time we start the next thing we're going to do is stretch this field fencing out and i'm pretty sure by the time we get to that instead of being frozen it's going to get all muddy on us it'll be that'll just be the way it is but uh happy to have the uh the barbed wire uh up and ready for field fencing so the barbed wire itself actually was a little different to work with since that's a twisted wire it um it actually is pretty tough to bend it wants to spring back on you it doesn't it didn't like the other wire where you where you bend it and it kind of stays bent this this wants to spring back it wants to fight you and uh, you really got to over bend it to get it to take any kind of bend so that uh, that twisted barbed wire is just a different beast so it was a it was a it was a little bit of a struggle to get it tied back to itself it really wanted to fight you 
uh, being tied back to itself. But uh, we ended up getting it. It was a uh, first time for barbed wire, but uh, we ended up getting it. Next time we do barbed wire, hopefully I'll have one of those barbed wire pullers because it um, they kind of I think kind of slips over the fence and then it pinches the fence so you can pull it and it's a lot easier to just kind of get on and off of the barbed wire. So I'm going to try to pick one of those up. Well, that's it for this video. We were able to get this bottom barbed wire on. So now we're ready to start stretching some field fencing. My wife, she's like super gung-ho. She's ready to get some, some goats. She's ready to get some animals. So she's, she's out here this weekend. She's off all weekend. She's out here helping me. So we're just going to keep pushing forward with this. We're going to try to get the, the barnyard finished. Then we're going to move on and try to work on the stalls because by the end of February, she's wanting to get some animals. So we got to get moving on this project. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next video.